A pretty common question that we get from people is if it's possible to mix different shore hardness silicons together in order to get a combined shore hardness of somewhere between the two silicons. Generally, the answer to this is a big yes. You do wanna make sure that if you're using, say, platinum cure silicons, then you only mix them with other platinum cure silicons, or likewise with tin cure silicons, you only mix them with tin cure silicons. I'm just gonna do this today for a mold that I've got here. I'm gonna be using our 0A and 30A silicons. I'm gonna mix them together and I think I'm gonna shoot for around a 22 to 24. And I'll show you how to figure out that ratio as well today. I guess quickly, we should talk about measuring this just to sort of show you what we mean when we talk about shore hardness. Briefly, shore hardness is just the measure of the resistance to a material to indentation. So it's just how much, how much the material gives when you apply pressure. There's three different scales for measuring shore hardness. So you've got the A scale, the double zero scale, and the D scale. Double zero is for very soft materials. The A is for general sort of silicon rubbers, and the D scale is for harder plastics and stuff like that. So most of the time we're working in A, we do have a couple of double zero silicons as well. In order to measure the shore hardness, we use a device called a durometer. It's got a little needle here, and when you apply it to a material, it'll tell you the shore hardness. This one is one that's made for the A scale. So here's a few that I made earlier. The blue one was a mix of the 0A and our 15A with a bit of blue pigment. We were shooting for a shore hardness of around seven and a half. So it was a direct 50-50 mix of the 0A and the 15A. If you look at it now on the durometer, seven, seven and a half. So pretty close. The white piece, we were shooting for a shore hardness of around 25A. This was done with our 15A and 35A. So this one had a little bit more 30A than it did 15A. Look on the durometer, that one is pretty much spot on. And finally, for the yellow, with a nice silly Create logo on it. This one, we were shooting for 37 and a half. So this one was made with our 30A and our 45A silicons mixed together. And that'll be in a 50-50 ratio as well. It's probably a little bit under again, but pretty close. I'd say 36, 37. If you're mixing two different types of silicon with different curing times, you're generally safer to just go with the longer curing time. Presume that it'll take as long as the longest curing time. You won't be disappointed. These, I just left these all overnight and they're all cured like normal. So let's get on to working out these ratios. I'm just gonna make this, this is a positive mold for a negative silicon mold that I'll make, that I'll then pour in resin uh, for that candle that we made a few videos back. I would usually use like a 15 or 20A silicon for this but might as well have fun and make a video. I'm gonna aim for around a shore hardness of 22 to 23 for this one. I've got our 0A and our 30A silicons here. So yeah, let's go through the sort of ratios and the math for it. Uh, so we're gonna be shooting for roughly a 22A shore hardness. It will make up 200 grams of silicon. So the way I like to do this is just put it all on a number line. So if we say we've got our 0A here, and our 30A here, and we're shooting for around a 22A. The way I like to visualize it in a number line is you've got sort of these are your two ratios, and this ratio is actually made up of the 0A, while this one is gonna be made up of the 30A. So they kind of invert. 30A minus 22 is eight over, the total range in the number line is 30. This will be for our 0A. For our 30A, it's gonna be 22 over 30 and that's for our 30A. We can kind of just multiply these all together. So we know we're going for 200 grams, and so we'll say 22 divided by 30 times by 200. So we know we'll need about 146 grams of the 30A, and we'll need, if we go eight divided by 30 times by 200. 53, or 54, grams of the zero A. So now we know how much of the 30 A and how much of the zero A we're gonna to need to, in order to get a sort of composite shore hardness of 22 A. This example's relatively uh, easy because we start with the zero A, but let's just do another example. Uh, let's say again, let's say we're gonna need 500 grams of silicon this time. We want roughly a shore hardness of 10 A and let's just make it a little bit more complicated we're gonna start, we know we've got 0010, ultra soft, this is our ultra soft silicon, and we might have, say, our 45A silicon. I'm making this quite hard for myself. So in order to do this, we wanna convert uh, all of our shore hardnesses into the same scale. 
And so obviously we've got double zero ten. We'll convert 45A into the double zero scale and we'll convert 10A into the double zero scale. So 45A equals, and you can kind of look this up on sure hardness charts. We've got one on our website and there's some tables and stuff like that online. As you can see, sure A45 is gonna be just above double zero 080. So we'll say that this one's about double zero 80, let's say 82. And now we should figure out what 10A is in the double zero scale. So 10A lands between 50 and 60. I'm gonna say it's close to 50, so I'm gonna say it's about 53. Double zero, 53. And so again, we put this all on a number line, 53. Now we do the fun maths. We know we got 500 grams. This is our range. We know our range, our total range here is 72. And so that'll be our denominator for both because we take 82 and we minus 10 off it essentially. And so we've got 72. That's going to be our de denominator. So we take the difference between 82 and 53, which is 29. And we take the difference between 10 and 53. And so we get 43. And these should equal to 1. If you plus these together, they should equal to 1. Just if you need to check your maths. And yeah, so we know we've got double zero 010 and 0082 slash 45a. That's the ratios that we're gonna go with in order to figure out how much to use. And so the final step here is of course, we wanna go 43 divided by 72 times by 500 grams. So we know we need 298, 299, I'll round it up, grams of the 45a. And we're gonna need 29 divided by 72 times by 500. We're gonna need 201 grams of the double zero 010. This half's a bit more of a complicated example of how you'd go about figuring out the different ratios if you were using them from different scales and stuff like that. Theoretically, <laughs> theoretically, you could buy our softest silicon and our firmest silicon and then just custom mix them in order to get whichever, whatever sort of hardness you want in the range. So yeah, anyway, let's get on with this. So I've got our mixing bowl here. I've got some scales and yeah, let's mix it up to these ratios. And so we know we're gonna need 146 grams of the 30A. So what'll this be? 73 grams of the A and 73 grams of the B. Got the, I've got the 30A part A here. 73 grams of the B and yeah 54 grams of the 0A so that means we'll pour in about 27 grams of each so got the A here and I'll go in again with the B of the 0A and now we just mix it like normal I'm gonna add a tiny bit of purple pigment All right, so I forgot to film this bit. So yeah, pretty happy with that. 